And again, you can go MZ Mine mm -hmm. and then MS Dial, but you should play with MS Dial as well. So uh, MS Dial. So the MS Dial is where I'm downloading the database. Okay. And so this is um, the best database I've found so far. I, I, I'm sure there could be other databases for untargeted metabolomics. Uh, this one has everybody in it. So it's like they if you're using uh, GNPS, all the GNPS records are in this, the mass bank records. Oh. Um, all the all finds libraries in there, all the PFOSs are in there. They just put together. They just suck them all in there, right? There's this huge database, all positive MSMS. And so from my understanding, this one up top here is everything. Um positive and negative, all stuff. It's 300,000 everything. So this, wow. is, this is what I've been downloading to use. And um, it downloads is this .msp file. And so that, that's the type of files you're looking for is these .msp files, these .msi files, these will go into MS style or MZ mine directly. Okay. Really? M and, MSP also go to? Yeah, these .msp files. There's, here's the types you can take. So what I like to do is uh, I'll just drag and drop the raw file data that we acquired with the right. fast EDA method right into the mass spec file. Okay. And it should uh, load it in there. And then in the annotation section here, uh, you want to add your spectral library. So you can just drag and drop in your spectral library. So you can just drag it, just drop it in there, and it should go into. Um, but I also will just import it directly. Um, and it shows you all the different types of in, uh, oh, MSP. Yes, yeah, so you can take in JSONs. I've never figured out how to bring in a JSON, but you can bring in MSP. And so uh, this is from the. And then every time you reopen the MZ Mine software, right. you have to re-import the database. Oh, okay. And so this I'll is just from the uh, MZ dial. So this, this is from? the MS dial. I just downloaded okay, it, and then this is just where it is in the downloads. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load it, and you'll see that it's parsing the the data in here. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first thing you have to do with the water's raw data when you open it up, if you double click on it, it'll open up your data right here, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that we're running uh, MS1 and MS2. So you'll see here we have all the MS1 data and then it goes to the MS2 data. But then at the very end, it'll go to MS1 data again. Oh. So the MS1 data again at the very end of your file, we need to remove that because that will confuse right, we things. Don't need, yeah, we don't, we need, don't need that. The only right. reason this is here is this is the lock mass channel for correction, right? And since oh, the yeah, correction is right, being right. applied, these are all 556 masses. So we want to get rid of all those. And so we'll just do that by a scan crop filter. Uh -huh. So you can see that the last line that's actually means anything, that, that's why we're getting the error. So this error is because of the second channel of MS1 there. So we're going to go ahead and crop it to 593. And so we'll do that by going into raw method, and then we'll do uh, data filtering, use a crop filter. In the crop filter settings, uh, I will auto range the range, since this is a 30 minute method, I will auto range the mass range. Mm -hmm. And then I will put this at whatever that number was, five, five, zero, nine, three, three is the last one in the set that we want. So scans for keeping five, scan numbers. Five, nine, three, three, I think, yeah. Five, nine, three, three, yeah. you're right. And then you want to do all MS levels, positive polarity, and then any spectrum type, okay? Right. And then that will crop that into a filtered list. After you filter your list, you need to detect your peaks. So you're going to go into mass detection. So again, we're still processing raw data. We're going to go mass detection. Again, you want to show it in auto range, both that you want to do all MS levels again. And then the mass detector setup, I leave in auto. And then in the setup, I usually put my noise level at a thousand, but you can okay, mess yeah. with your noise level if you want. Yeah, like. you can increase it yeah, based on the time. Based on what you're getting. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then hit OK. And so then that will go ahead and do all the peak picking. So then when you reopen this file, you should have a check mark next to all of the different masses. Oh, they, they already detected. detected. Yep, so now they're all detected. And what it should be doing is grouping the MS1 and MS2 data together and merging the, the mm -hmm. files. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you need to define what a peak is. So now that we process the data, we need to go ahead and put it um, into a chromatogram. So we're going to feature detect in LCMS data using the ADAP chromatogram builder, okay? My ADAP chromatogram builder settings that I've been using, again, you always want to show the scan filter range and auto range it. So mm -hmm. we're not using mobility data, so we don't need to auto range that. 
Uh, since there's only a real chromatogram for the first channel, the MS1 channel, we just want to do MS1 level one uh, for the chromatogram to define what a peak is because our other channels are all those like MSMS -MS scans, right? Okay. And then again, I want to do positive clarity any. I like to consider, this is what you consider a peak. You could mess with this if you like. Um, I am doing five minimum scans to consider it a peak shape. Okay. And then I'm saying a thousand for intensity cutoff. And then when you have two options here, it's going to choose the bigger of the two. So if oh. I, I just want to do oh. everything by MS, by M, M over Z. So I just put the PPMs to zero. And so I'm doing my mass tolerance at 0 0.01. Okay. Uh, to define if it's a. a okay, this is, I not. think this is the Z will M, MZ yeah, tolerance, right? Good. Okay, yeah. I think so pretty that's good. Pretty good, yeah. yeah so then you good. can go ahead and make sure you clicked on this filtered one and then hit OK. And then it should go ahead and build a chromatogram. And so now you're going to go out of this MS data files tab and go to the MS features tab. And that's where your, your chromatogram is going to be. Okay? okay. So when we open a chromatogram like this, when we first set it up, if you sort by area you'll see a lot of a lot of your intense peaks look like crap like that looks like a real peak but that looks like kind of a weird peak that looks like clearly not even a right, peak, yeah, right yeah right, right so right. what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go into the chromatogram resolving and i like to use so zane likes to use this adapt chromatogram resolver mm -hmm. i like to use this local minimum resolver i, I don't know really the difference between okay. the two um we're going to remove mm -hmm. uh, things that with these different settings. So I'm, I'm set that one, I set that one. The main one that I think I'm using is the cutoff rate, um, this threshold here. The main one I'm doing is if the peak duration is longer than a minute, then it's not a peak. Right. Right, come on, right. it's too yeah. long of a peak. Yeah. Peak should be like uh, like 10 seconds max, you know? Um, and then again, the minimum scan points. And so that should then hopefully remove all that garbage. And so then if we open up this one now, and resort by area. Hopefully we just have nice looking peaks on top. So now we have oh, mainly good looking peaks here. And so I'll just kind of check them out and be like, okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So now you could do all sorts of stuff. Like again, I'm just doing the bare minimum. Uh, you could play around with isotope and de-isotoping. You could play around with assigning MS2 to different features, uh, all sorts of normalization and alignment. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going right to searching the spectral library. So I'm just taking this okay. right now. I'm going right in to the imported spectral library and I'm searching that library. Um, you can mess around with your tolerance. So depending on how well the instrument's been calibrated, you can lower this up. I've gone to even 5,000. Seems to work if you're really well calibrated. Really? This right now is really, okay. And I just recalibrated it for you. Oh, so okay, to start, you. maybe we'll go, we'll search wider, but then we can always go narrower and it seems to help with your IDs. Okay. The other thing that seems to help with your IDs in the beginning, I like to keep the, the cosine similarity um, at 0.55 to show everything possible. Okay. That's like an incredibly low cosine, but then I'll eventually move the cosine up to like point like eight five. But like, really, you want your cosine to be like 0.9 what, 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 or What is this cosine? Cosine is like a, a similarity, um, oh, okay. uh, you know, metric for all the different things that are oh, there, okay. essentially. Is, yeah. uh, is it using, bad? Uh, if there's a high, what does it mean? If high means good, low means bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. So a, a, one would be 100% match, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, we'll leave it like that for now. So we're in the exporter library, we're here, and so then we'll go ahead and hit OK. Um, uh, basically, 0 0.8 is more similar if there's a yeah, point similar eight, to five higher, is more, yeah, it's higher more, yeah. similarity. Okay, so now it's searched. It, it, the longer it takes to search, the better, in my opinion. Like, then you find more things. Yours didn't take that long, so it probably didn't work that long. Okay, so once you you double click and open this after it searches features, you'll have this whole new area in the center here. I like to sort by match signals. And that shows you the number of matched MSMS -MS signals. So that's oh. what I use for confidence. Right. And then you'll also notice that it shows the peak shape for all this stuff. I, I think that makes it really dirty. So I, I'll go ahead and this use is, this. Um, well, as C peaks or? Yeah, this so is these the, are the peaks then that have been identified. And I like to go ahead and remove that shape. Or extracted iron. This is the peak. These are all extracted iron. Extracted iron. iron. Yeah. Okay. So I like to get rid of these shapes so okay. it looks cleaner. And now you got a nice clean looking list. Okay. And so cool. who knows if we found stuff that makes sense, but. But um, at least we have but lots you have of stuff. Lots of stuff. And I mean, not a ton of stuff, but again, 
They are still it's a working. Tough, it's a tough sample. So. Is it? And so that's it. And so the other things that you can do, okay, so stuff that's interesting. Like, look, there's cholesterol. That makes kind of sense, right? Um, if it looks like a weird hit and it doesn't make any sense, you can double click on things. And then there's other there's possibilities. There's sometimes other possibilities. Yeah, oh, okay. sometimes there's not. But sometimes, yeah, see in the air, there, there'll be other things in there that you can look at. Um, and that will change. Uh, change what? This is so cool. But it's cool. It, it's a matter of whether or not you can get to work better. Uh, how how like, many? We can check our air. Yeah. Like, okay, so then if you want to research your day, the last thing before we end it is yeah. um, you can clear your feature annotations. Get rid of it all. And you could research, uh, research the database um, with like different air if you wanted to. So I'm gonna try searching it now with like maybe point one air. Um, and put the cosine weight at like eight five and see how much of a difference it makes um, when we search it. Cause I can leave this one open, right? That's right. still, you, that's still, you could save that. And then now it should do a new one here. Yeah, see it much lower. Um, so sometimes oh. I like to do that. So this is like really high criteria and that's really low criteria. And then I can look at the two and be like, okay, like what's the, what am I, what's my real reality here? Um, get rid of the shapes. Yeah, so nice. there's not a whole lot, but we do have a coenzyme there. Hey, look at that. Q2, really? I don't know. Maybe these are some things that actually make sense. Who knows? Anyways, yeah, yeah, but we, we have it. Uh, oh, that's cool, actually. Yeah. And then we can just copy paste and then yeah. put the Excel or something. You yeah. can do it. You just go oh. right to Excel, copy paste, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Very nice. So that's what Thank we're you. doing for identifying 